Hi there, this is a short demo video of the SAP Aruba buying experience, which is included in the SAP Grow for S4HANA Cloud Public Edition. Now, SAP S4HANA Public Cloud Edition does support full integration to the SAP Business Network, formerly Ariba. But if you're not licensed to use the Business Network, you can utilize the catalog management capabilities here for creating purchase requisitions. Now you can onboard catalogs from suppliers that are on the business network and connect to suppliers on the Amazon for business and also punch out to supplier commerce sites. You can also, of course, upload catalogs. Now, just to be clear, s 4 Public Cloud does support internal catalogs as standard. This is an extended solution for indirect material procurement that provides smart and elegant purchasing experience. Now, if you follow the link to the process navigator here, you'll see further details on the scope item to deploy this capability. So we'll start by creating purchase requisition by punching out to the SAP Ariba buying experience. This will then create a workflow for the purchase requisition approval. Now, in this case, we'll just do an automated approval. In turn, it will then create a purchase order in S4HANA and we're able to see the referencing of this back in the SAP Aruba buying solution. Then we'll carry out a goods receipt within S4HANA and then carry out the invoice processing and be able to reflect the whole process against the purchase requisition within the SAP Aruba buying solution. So we're logged in to S4HANA and there's an option here to create a purchase request. That takes us to the SAP Aruba buying experience. Multiple catalogs here. Let's go into the mouse and keyboard catalog and we can see multiple products here. And let's just choose this cherry mouse and add it to the cart. Now, if I go up to the cart icon on the top right, we can see that the mouse has been added to the cart. I can view some details here. And of course, if I want to change the date that I need the product for, I can click on the edit icon and edit a number of details. We're just gonna go and change the date and go back to the request. And then we'll submit the request. This creates the purchase requisition and let's view it. And let's go into the details of the line item, the mouse. And you can view various elements, but let's look at the approval side of things and look at the workflow. And we can see this has been auto approved. Of course, if there was a workflow with numbers of levels of approvals, it will go to the inbox for approval. Now, if we wait a while, it will then get converted in the background to a purchase order within S4HANA. And then I can go into my purchase requests and have a look at the status. Open the orders that are in progress. We can see our one at the top here. Go into the details. Then back to the line item. And let's look at the status flow. Here we can see the purchase requisition that's been created and duplicated in S4HANA and the purchase order that's been created. So now that we have this purchase order, we can go and review it directly in S4HANA. So let's switch back to the menu and go into purchase order processing. So we're going to manage purchase orders and then select the purchase order for today's date. And there's our purchase order at the top here. Let's go and review this purchase order and go into the details. 
we can see that the status is set to sent. And if we look at the output management to see what was sent to the supplier, we can see it's been sent as a printout and as an EDI directly to the supplier. And we can review the output as well by looking at the PDF. So here's an example layout of the purchase order that could get sent to the supplier. Now let's go back into our purchase order and go back to the list view. And from here, I can use the hyperlink to post a goods receipt for the purchase order. And let's just select the product and post it to say that it's been fully receipted. Now we have a material document showing the goods receipt. If I now go back to the main menu and open up my purchase requests, so going back to the Ariba buying experience and go and look at fulfilled and invoiced orders. There's our order at the top. And let's go and examine the status again. and go down to the line item. And look at the status flow. And we can see here that the goods receipt has also been recorded in the Ariba solution. And it's still waiting for the invoice to be processed. So let's go and do that as well. Let's go into accounts payable. And we'll go into supplier invoices. There's lots of ways of uploading supplier invoices. We can use the OCR processing with the central invoice management and various other methods. We'll just do it manually by creating a supplier invoice. And we'll enter the gross amount, which will match exactly to the purchase order line value. Give it an invoice date. Reference, which typically is the invoice number, but we'll just put the PO number in there. And then we'll put the PO number in to match against, and it should bring up the line item. Yep, we've got a warning saying there's no delivery cost, but we can ignore that. And let's go and just post this invoice. Of course, you could attach the invoice copy as well, but we're just going to post the transaction. And that's created our supplier invoice, ready for payment. And if we go back to the home page and go back to our purchase request within the Aruba buying solution, go into fulfilled and invoiced requests, and we can see our one at the top again. And then we'll go into the details to go and look at the status again against the line item. And then we we'll look at the status flow. And we can see the full process that's been completed, which is also reflected within S4HANA against the purchase order. But this is just showing you that the entire process end to end is also reflected within SAP Ariba buying experience. So as a recap, we saw the purchase requisition being created in SAP Ariba buying. We saw the purchase requisition being approved automatically. Then the purchase order being created directly in S4 HANA and being sent to the supplier via EDI. Then we carried out the goods receipt in the standard way within S4 HANA. This was reflected back in the SAP Ariba buying solution. And then we finalized by carrying out the invoice. And again, that was reflected back in the process flow and status flow of the SAP Ariba buying solution. Thank you for your time.